Hey everybody, it's Zach aka Zach's Reviews and we are back uh, back with another uh, review. Uh, this is, and my review today is uh, My Hero Academia. So I just finished season one today. I started uh, not yesterday but the day before that at night. My brother was you know uh, doing a cosplay for it and you know he was uh, telling me it's a really great show and you know it's better than, uh, than uh, Dragon Ball Super. So, um, you know, I was like, and I really like Dragon Ball Super. I just started getting into anime. Uh, you know, I feel like, well, I, I don't know if you would count, you know, Avatar The Last Airbender anime, but if you don't, that's fine. But I started watching stuff like that. I was never really a big anime fan. Um, I got into Dragon Ball Super when, you know, Dragon Ball Super Broly came out in the theaters. That was the first Dragon Ball Z thing I really watched. So, um, I'm not a really big fan of, you know, like, Dragon Ball Z, the TV show. I'm a big fan of Dragon Ball Z Super. Uh, it's like, you know, people told me that, you know, uh, Dragon Ball Z Super is like the, uh, I guess, like, the beginning of things, and then, or, or I think the beginning of things, and then it goes into Dragon Ball Z, or Dragon Ball Z was first, and then it's Super. I don't know, like, how it goes exactly, um... But, you know, let me know down in the comments how it goes first or whatever, like what goes first. But I'm a big fan of Dragon Ball Super. So, uh, you know, I gave this a shot. And I, what I have to say is I, I agree with my little brother. Drag, uh, My Hero Academia is 100% better than uh, than Dragon Ball. Like Dragon Ball Z or Dragon Ball Super or whatever. Like I, I, I think it's really, really good. I love how this story is uh, pretty much about a kid that, you know... It's, it's an underdog story. It's about a kid that doesn't have a power, which is called a cork, and um, he doesn't have one. And, you know, his entire life he, like, looks up to these superheroes, and one one superhero in particular, his name is uh, All Might, or, and, you know, he looks up to him, and he wants to be a superhero, and you can see when he was a kid, you know, he, you know, he didn't, you know, like, you could see he really wanted to help people. Uh, he had this... Uh, he had this best friend, you know, that turned on him as a kid, and then it calls him, uh, uh, uh calls him, uh, Deku, yeah, it calls him that, and, you know, he pretty much embraces that when he gets older, you know, he embraces that name, you know, but pretty much, essentially, you know, he finds out that, you know, as a kid, you know, he doesn't have a cork, um, and then, you know, as he gets older, you know, he just doesn't, you know, lose hope that hopefully eventually, you know, either he'll get his cork or, you know, even if he doesn't, he hopes that he still can be a hero without one. And, you know, I just can't help to, you know, compare myself to that character, you know, uh, Deku's character, because, you know, when I was younger, I got bullied and stuff, you know, because I couldn't read, you know, I had a reading disability and, you know, I, you know, and just seeing him, how he doesn't give up. Reminds me how I was younger and I didn't give up, you know, trying to, you know, learn how to read and just, he's truly one of my favorite characters, him and All Might, especially, I, I love his character, I love their dynamic with each other, I love how, you know, you know, he pretty much, well, essentially he runs into All Might, you know, after, you know, he's in, you know, high school, you know, he's getting made fun of by, you know, his best friend, you know, that used to be his best friend when they were younger, he pretty much, you know, his best friend when he was younger pretty much turned on him and, like, called him, you know, Deku as pretty much, you know, just as a, a making fun of term. But he embraces that, you know, when he gets older, you know, people, you know, are still making fun of him, calling him that. And, you know, he ends up running into All Might, which is his favorite superhero. And essentially, they go on this journey together of, you know, you don't really, you don't, need a cork to be a hero essentially you know he is the person that will run into a situation and without you know having a power and and all might i don't want to tell you what happens but you know he sees that and they go on this journey of you know him you know of deku becoming a, a superhero essentially so this show is great season one was phenomenal the soundtrack that you get with deku and all might is just that that beautiful score and like the score you get in the of, as the of the theme and of you get as at the end credits, it's just the score in general is phenomenal. You know, I, I, it's something about anime score is just phenomenal. Like I, I just you know I for the people that you know that you know do the drawing and do the you know the the score and do the voice acting, you know kudos to you. You guys do an amazing job. I, I really enjoy it. You know I'm a big anime fan. You know I feel like now I'm really getting into that, and you know I really have a big respect for it. So. 
I really, really love this show. I'd say hands down, I would put this above Dragon Ball Super. That's my second favorite anime. So, you know, I really, really enjoy this. Um, just overall, the different, like, the different, like, characters you see, and you just, everything fits together, and you see this journey of the first season, and, you know, it's just of the journey of All Might, and, you know, Deku, and, you know, his, uh, his, well, you know, it's funny, because, you know, his best, his, his used to be best friend is, like, hates him, but I feel like, he, I think he hates him, because, you know, even without the cork, you know, he still asked, you know, if, you know, if he was okay, and he was still doing, here like, you know, heroism stuff, and he's like, you know, and I feel like that's why his his ex friend like hates him because of that is because he didn't have a power but he's still acting like a hero and he, I think he's jealous of that and hopefully I hope and one and later down the line in the series we see them you know come together because even Deku still loves him and you still see that through this series that he still cares for him even though his ex friend doesn't so you know there's just you know you see this element of that he never gives up and I really appreciate seeing this in a in a in an anime. It, it really, really is so different, and it's very special, and I see that, why people love the show. Because, you know, um, I watched Jody's Corner, and they were talking about, you know, what like, like what's your favorite anime? And I remember, um, if I'm correct, X-Files, he said that he really, really loves My Hero Academia. And I, I was like, I, told, I said in the comments, I mean, you know, nothing beats Dragon Ball Super. I was wrong. This show, 100%, I feel like beats it. I never thought I would say it, but it's super duper good. Like, season two, um, I just started season two, and I'll give you that review, but, like, so far, I'm very impressed. The scores get better, the characters have more arcs, and, you know, crazy things happen, and, you know, you really see, you really see the heart of the show, and I can't wait to see more and more as it goes, because I, uh, Apparently, there's a season five right now that's already done being made, and it's getting dubbed. Uh, I, I'm not, again, you know, to this day, I still have, you know, sort of like a, I mean, I, I'm, I'm good at reading, but, you know, I still have t trouble, like, reading, uh, you know, uh, captions, like, you know, I have trouble reading them really fast, so, you know, that's why I do, like, the dub version when they come out, so... Um, they're doing the dub version for season five, so I can't wait to see that. Um, I'm, you're gonna see me do keep doing reviews for the show because I really enjoy the show. Again, All Might's my favorite, and so is Deku. And I'm happy he's embracing that name, and he's not letting all these people, you know, bring him down. And I'm happy he's just that character that is so, you know, he's not so focused on himself. He cares about others, and that really reminisces with me because I feel like I'm that person. You know, I don't think a lot about myself. I think about a lot about others. And, you know, I, and, you know, I, that's who I am. I think about others, you know, I care about people. That's pretty much why I started this channel is because I care about people and I want people to have a place where we can all talk about something and, you know, create a, a, a awesome loving community. So, you know, that's why I did this, you know, to share what I love and, and I want to, you know, and I want people to share what they love and I want to have like a big, you know, community. So, you know, that's why I hope for for this channel. And, you know, I feel like the show, if, you know, if you're someone like me or if, you know, you love anime and you love, like, that underdog story of, like, you know, you just never want to give up, this is that show for you. I never really got that from, you know, you know Dragon Ball Super. And, you know, I really was never, again, a fan of Dragon Ball Z when I was younger on Nickelodeon that was on TV. I never really liked the way it looked. To this day, I still stand by that. I think Dragon Ball Super is better, but that's just my opinion. Um, but, yeah, um, I never really thought it had that element, and I feel like that's what makes this show so special, and I feel like what this is what makes this show above, you know, Dragon Ball Z as, you know, as a unit, Super and Dragon Ball Z and all that stuff, so, but I still love Dragon Ball Super, I'm a diehard fan, I, you know, Goku's my favorite, and, you know, Vegeta, but, um, but how about, you know, what I really love in this is that, it, I love how, like, you know, in Super and, you know, and, uh, and in this, they're the swearing, like uh, freaking his ex, uh, 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 Deku's uh, ex friend. I forget his name. I, I think it's called. Uh, I'm still learning names, but he has red hair or like yellow hair, but with red eyes. It's like his. Uh, again, you know, Deku cares for him, but you know, he hates Deku, and I love it. There's this one scene in this where you know he just calls him names like you know Deku you bastard he just says stuff like that I just love I, I, I love the because I remember their scene in Dragon Ball's uh Dragon Ball Super Broly where you know uh 
they did their like swearing and stuff, but like I love those little moments where you know dry uh where uh where uh Goku and you know Vegeta are you know leaving uh are you know are about to get attacked by Broly and then they do their thing and they just leave and like and like cause they're in st- they they're in front of Frieza and then they leave and the, and right before they leave uh uh Goku says see you Frieza and, and, and Broly's just going in on you know uh, Frieza and I just love that scene so I love the swearing they have and it's so funny I and there's this it's so funny because I'm not gonna tell you when but there's a guy that you know uh. Uh, Deku's you know, ex you know, ex friend says to this one guy, "Icy hot," which I freaking died when he said that. Icy hot. That's great. But overall, I give this first season a ten out of ten. I really, really love this show. I think if you like underdog stories and superhero shows, you will love this show. Go check it out. Um, and yeah, that was my review on season one, and you will be getting season two after I'm done watching it. I'm in the middle of it right now. I'm almost done, so stay tuned for that. Don't forget to like this video, uh, subscribe to the channel, put on those notifications. And yeah, that was my review, and I'll see you next time. Peace.